Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Ryu Nation, the combined form of the Wreckers Combiner Set, which is a repaint, retool of the Bruticus, the Fall Cybertron Bruticus uh, figures. And give me a moment, I'm grabbing the accessories, which it has many of. And we will now combine. So we'll start with this dude, which is none other than Impactor. Impactor, Impactor, Impactor. Um, so essentially, we are going to use Whirl first because he's the sturdiest. This will plug in to the bottom here. It's a nice tight connection with a hinge there and apparently that pops off put that back together next we'll take the black blast off retool which is topspin and I'm sorry I have a I have the generation 2 version of blast off and he's white too so I, I don't know why I get confused but I do so Pop that on. Now we have two legs, and he kind of stands. Just uh, make my tripod a little taller here. Sorry about the movement. There. Next, I will shall take Twin Twist and plug him in on this side, which is easier said than done, actually. This is a retool of the Brawl Mold. I also already reviewed these all individually. So if you have want to watch those, feel free. They uh, should be available by the time I uploaded this. And it's a little lopsided until you get the other arm on, which is Roadbuster, retool of Swindle. And that pops on. Yeah, and that gets in a little bit of the way of this thing up here. So, I'm going to flip that one down, just so I don't have to worry about it. So, essentially, this is it. Um, this actually tends to work a little bit better if you turn this mold sideways down here. this one is uh, sideways where the fins are going out it's a bit more sturdy so let's back this guy up a bit so we hopefully we can fit him on the camera's view again sorry about the shaky camera while I'm uh, adjusting this okay this is barely balanced so if it falls I'm up I apologize in advance so yeah, um, as you can see, I have the drill bits here on the arm. He comes with a bunch of extra weapons and accessories that you can plug on him. I'm not going to, because I don't think it's very necessary. Um, what's cool about this form, I mean, with this guy on the arm, you got this cannon there. I mean, that's just kind of cool. Um, you have this massive arm on this side, which you can practically do whatever you want with. Um, we'll tilt this guy back a little bit here. I don't like how he leans forward. So, and then he leans back, so he, it's balancing act. If you unplug, if you lean him back and then unplug these on his hips a little bit, you can have some movement control so you can do stuff like this have his leg up and have some more motion and control the friction there is actually enough to hold him upright although not the best for whatever reason now I think it has to do with this leg so yeah uh, not so entertaining there we go. 
So, like Bruticus, you can take the original Bruticus weapons, plug them all together, and form the giant weird looking weapon. Which actually looks better in on in these colors than it does from the regular Bruticus set, actually. It's not so intrusive yellow and such. So yeah. That's that. Plus you have all the extra like weapons that can plug in like here. And here, and here, and here, and he's falling backwards, which he wasn't a minute ago, which I'm sure you all saw. And of course, there's always the peg in this cannon up top, too. So you can find a home for all five weapons without an issue. And I really don't like the combined mode of this guy because I bought him for the individual pieces and not the combined mode. Bruticus, combined mode. This guy, I bought for the individual figures. And of course, missile. So it's not a bad figure in combined mode. I like it actually, but there's not really a need in my collection for this guy. So, and there's your reunion Autobot symbol on the chest. So it's not bad. It's okay actually. I don't mind it. It's actually a decent figure. And the colors work really well. I'm I'm actually very surprised it works much better than the Bruticus set, to be honest. Which, if I wasn't lazy, I'd assemble now and I'd show you the comparison. But I'm extremely lazy so today, so I'm not going to do that. Um, if you have any questions about the combined mode or of the individual pieces, please feel free to message me um, down below message me or post a comment down below either way I will respond <sighs> yep I think that's it oh and an additional piece of news if you're watching this I will be shortly eventually sometime in the next few weeks reviewing the Rainmakers from the BotCon um, set I did not go to BotCon but once I found out they had Rainmakers, I went out and bought a set. Um, I got it from Big Bad Toy Store. I think there's actually still some on pre-order right now. Um, they were able to secure some for a, only a, about a $50 markup, which is not bad. I expected to pay $200. I ended up paying $144.99, something like that. Anyway, I don't care because I love the stupid Rainmakers. I, I get obsessed with these subgroups way more than I get obsessed with the main cast. As you can tell by my Wreckers obsession if you watch more of my videos. I think I'm down to missing only two Wreckers characters. And I can't think of their names. Rotorstorm and wow the annoying guy that wrote about the records in the uh, last stand of the records he ended up dying forget his name really I cannot remember it right now I will eventually 
Anyway, that concludes my video review of Reunation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me talk. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I'm out. Oh, also, recommendations. Um, if you don't want the entire set, I would recommend getting um, Impactor, Whirl, and Roadbuster. In that order. Uh, those are my recommendations. And then these two last. If you end up getting them all, great. And if you only want one or two, I would go with Whirl and... Uh, Whirl is actually probably my favorite. Impactor is probably my second favorite. Followed by... Um, Roadbuster. And then the other two, they're okay. They're good fill-ins. Well, those are my recommendations. Hope you enjoy. Hope that helps you. Um, see you around. And thanks for watching.